Hey guys, I am down in my basement today and uh, I thought I'd show you around a little bit. Um, there's a lot of stuff down here as you can probably tell in the background. I've got um, a lot of software and stuff and I'll talk about that some other time. But uh, today I just basically wanted to limit it to uh, my parts bin, which is kind of a miscellaneous parts that um, if I get a, an older computer that I can't quite uh, fix, then I go ahead and take it apart and put it in these bins so that, you know, the next time um, I come across a computer, I'm trying to fix it up and so forth. If I've got a new build project, then I've got all these parts to choose from. So, um, and I kind of like the way that um, the whole bin system here that I've set up uh, works. Uh, it's quite well organized for me anyway. And uh, so I thought I'd just kind of share what I've got basically in the, that part bin. Overall setup here, basically it's just a rack with a bunch of plastic bins in it. And uh, it really, really works well for this kind of thing of just putting parts in here. I really should get um, an extra shelf for putting the larger items. But for a lot of the small stuff, um, this, this tends to work pretty well. So what I thought I'd do is just go ahead and show you what I've got in here. And again, if I come across a computer from the recycling center or whatever, and uh, it needs a new part, you know, this is the first place I go, typically. Um, and also, if I'm dismantling a computer, if, it, if I can't save it, uh, it's too far gone, then, you know, well, it becomes part of this, this growing collection of parts um, that I can use for, for other projects. So that's kind of neat. So um, in, my, in the first bins here, as you can probably tell, I've got uh, processors and um, well, this one's a K62. So the processors in this bin are, are actually older processors, generally from uh, the 386, 486 era up until the Pentium 2, I think I've got in here. Uh, and then right next door, I've got newer processors, basically... Um, Pentium 4s, I think some Pentium 3s too. Yeah, so this is a Pentium 3. Basically, Pentium 3 up until, I don't know, I probably got chips from about 2010 in here. Um, but uh, yeah, I've got kind of each in one of these little plastic clamshell cases. And I'll show you here. Actually, I have another bin just for the, just for the styrofoam, basically. The styrofoam and... Uh, the plastic cases themselves, so I just put these together whenever I've got a new processor, and it keeps them pretty safe and is a nice affordable option for storing those. Uh, next door, I've just got some random fans. Um, I've got, I've actually got fans in some other places as well, but um, yeah, if I need case fans, I might look here if I need a particular size, a smaller than, you know, 120. Uh, millimeter fan, I might have it here. Um, this one, I think it's basically just heat sinks. A lot of older heat sinks and fans, you know, that you would have found on, you know, maybe an original Pentium system or something like that. Uh, and then some newer stuff too. Um, I really, I really should get a bigger bin for this one. Um, it's probably almost about time for me to double my storage space and getting a whole new rack um, at this point and then um, you know letting this take up a little more space and spread out a bit. All right next door can't tell what this is but um, it's a whole bunch of memory. So I got these little cases, um, these anti-static bag bags and um, uh, all of these have memory in them, and it's a lot. This is another one where I really need two bins at least because I've got really old memory mixed in here with fairly new stuff. Some probably DDR2 is probably the newest stuff I've got in there. Uh, but yeah, that probably could could afford to be again put in two different bins. So it's about time to expand. Um, over here, I've got. You know, basically, the, mostly these five and a quarter inch and three and a quarter or half inch uh, drive bay covers with some other stuff. There's some plastic feet in here uh, from an older computer. That uh, I don't know what happened to that one, but I guess I feared I might might use those feet someday. 
Um, below the other CPUs, I've got some other older CPUs. For some reason, I guess I used these here recently. I haven't put them in the clamshells yet. So some more K6 processors, and I think I've got some Pentium Pros. I think that's what this is. So some older processors there. Um, I've got quite a few floppy drives. So I've got, you know, all of these here, plus um, some in some other places, as well as a number that are actually still in the old computers. Um, kind of my white whale is is finding a truly white floppy drive. I actually think this is about as white as they got. And I don't know, in a number of my builds, you know, they've been almost bright white and... Um, I'm always on the lookout for for a white, a really white floppy drive. This is a thing with me, and this looks wh white until you actually compare it to something else. Here I've got a sound blaster manual card here. So if you compare this here, you can tell it's really it's not actually that white, but it it certainly looks that way unless you compare it to a piece of paper or something. Um, some random heat sinks. I'm not even entirely sure what's in that one. Um, some more miscellaneous stuff, but um, here we've got a card reader. And uh, I don't know if I'll end up doing something with that or not. But sometimes you just have, you know, three and a half inch floppy drive bays that you don't know what to do with. And putting a card reader in there or something kind of makes sense. I've um, got more drive bay covers as well as now these are these are actually keys from a uh, unicomp keyboard that i've got and uh, it's the one i've got upstairs the custom model m i took the beige keys off and put black ones on them so it's that beige and black keyboard that i've got there that custom keyboard that's where that stuff's hanging out now i guess um, I got a whole bin here, one of the larger bins for mice, and uh, I have quite a few. I mean, I've got mostly PS2, I suppose, in here, but um, there's some serial uh, mice as well mixed in. I just a lot of random mice, depending on what I'm looking for for a particular build. This is one of my favorites, actually, because it's got, it's got this like gel in it, so it's nice and squishy. It's not an especially good mouse, but it, it's really comfortable to, to hold. Hmm. So this is uh, video cards, older video cards. We've got a Stealth 3D 2000 in here. For some reason, I guess I ran out of anti-static bags. And that's why that's not in a bag, but what is this? An AGP card of some type pulled out of an old Dell. Yeah, so I've got probably a dozen older video cards in here, various sorts. Uh, my best cards I just I generally have elsewhere, like my Voodoo's, uh, still in boxes if possible. But if it's just sort of a random card that I pull out of a computer I'm junking anyway, it goes in there. Now, th this one is also video cards, but um, they're pretty much all the same ones. They're... I'm not even sure what it is. Um, these are really old PCI video cards from sometime in the 2000s. I've got a whole, a whole sack of these things. As you can see here. I mean, I don't know. I got these for $5 at a flea market. And he, the guy just had a box of them. And he's like, I'm just trying to give them away, so how about five bucks? I'm like, okay, I never know when I'm going to need a miss, just a random uh, you know, PCI slot card. They're not particularly good cards, of course, but um, I mean, honestly, I hope they work, at least. I haven't tried any out. I got those a couple of years ago, and I haven't really done anything with them. So I should probably decide if I'm going to use them or not. So a um, couple bins down here, just uh, random cables. I mean, you never know, you know, when you're going to need these... ID cables and um, these actually go to the speaker and and all that stuff the power button on the front I've also got some USB ports I think in there some older USB ports and things things you don't use that often but every once in a while might need it for custom build 
And then, of course, uh, three or uh, five and a quarter inch uh, floppy drives, and then this this really kind of neat, you know, magnetic disk drive down here that I took out of, of another old computer that that was basically junked at the recycling center. And I was like, no, I I think I want to keep that because it's kind of a neat. I'm not even sure what the disk were that went in there, you know, but some kind of cassette. So if you know, let me know. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I'll have to explore that maybe in a future video. That'd be kind of neat. So in here I've got um, like random, not random cards, but but a lot of random modems and Ethernet cards and things like that. Um, they don't really get get looked at too often. Uh, down here, the sound cards. This is where the sound cards live, and I've got probably about. Again, about a dozen of these, and um, this particular card is one of those Gravoi ultrasound cards, which is probably one of my favorite cards in here. And it is it is definitely waiting for the right moment uh, to be used because it is it is truly a beautiful card. And you know, if you th know anything about these, they they tend to uh, go for a pretty penny there on eBay, uh, but uh, quite sought after. Um, I'm pretty sure I, I just pulled this one out of another re recycle center uh, computer that they were just going to get rid of anyway. So that was a good find. I found most of my Voodoo cards that way as well. Just, you know, people donating them and getting rid of them. I'm happy to uh, to save those. Let's see, down here I've got a bunch of CD and DVD drives. And again... You know, I'm rather fond of my almost pure white drives. If I want to make a, a white, um, you know, custom build, which, I don't know, I do every once in a while, it seems like. Uh, it's really nice having these. And, of course, most of the time when you find one of the old DVD or CD-ROM drives, they're ba some kind of variation of beige. And, and rarely are they almost pure white like that. So um, those are getting hard to come by. And then last but not least down here, I've got my, my old hard drives. And um, this is another one where I've just kind of run out of space and probably should be split up into multiple bins because they also get really heavy after a while. I don't know why this one's not in a package. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I've gone through a lot of hard drives in my time. A lot of hard drives, older hard drives, these platter drives just go bad after a certain amount of time. So the new old stock on a, you know, sub one gigabyte drive these days is actually, it's good. they're getting pretty expensive uh, because they're getting rare to find, rare and rare over time as they go bad. Especially the new old stock uh, stuff is, uh, is, is really starting to... Uh, uh, take on a premium in cost. So I've got all this other stuff on top of here. I don't think anything's too noteworthy. <laughs> this, is, this is basically where I just kind of throw stuff. I'm not sure where to put it yet. You know, um, some random pieces and whatnot. So, you know, I was really hoping to kind of organize this a little more over this past summer, and I didn't quite get there. Um, but, uh, it's, it's pretty clear at this point that I've, I've more or less stopped putting stuff in these bins because they're starting to overflow and, um, there is space here. There's my gumball machine. You know, this, there is space here for another one of these racks, um, right next to my also really, really busy and messy, uh, work, work desk. Yeah. Yeah. I've got some cleaning to do, some organiz organizing to do. There we go. That's the word. and uh, But I'll get to it. But I just want to kind of show you the parts bin because this is the first place I go in a lot of cases for new builds and, and restoration projects and all that stuff. And um, it does keep it fairly well organized. It could be better, um, but that's really my fault. Um, I should probably also put labels on these things at some point. All right, guys, as the uh, furnace kicks back on down here, I will uh, wrap things up and say thank you very much for watching, as always. And I will be coming back down here uh, to the basement, showing off some other things here in the near future. So hopefully uh, you'll come back and catch those videos. Um, a lot of things 
uh, with projects going on here with the actual computers that I've got strewn all over the place and uh, of course software and other miscellaneous uh, items um, that I've got uh, down here in my secret place I guess you could say it's kind of dark and dingy but you know can't complain too much it's a place I can do all this weird stuff so all right guys catch you next time